Clone tool allows you to copy or clone areas based on where you click initially, similar to the clone stamp tool, I believe it's called in Photoshop. So let's copy or clone, I should say, this area right here. When I hold control and left click, I've got a little red dot there. Now if we zoom in and paint, we're getting those details. Better do that again. Uh, let's do it right here, a little open area. You can see we're getting those details up on that panel there. And we have different types. That's just translation. Let's now show mirror. Mirror sets a little plane that it will mirror across. So if we, for example, set the mirror to be right here by holding control, and then we start painting on this area here, this empty area, it will copy the other area across that little mirrored plane. You can see it's painting it now. We can also do inversion. It's basically the same, except it does a more of a radial pattern. And let's go over here. Next, we have clone sector. And what this one does is it's very similar to the previous, the inversion. However, it does a radial clone, if you will. And we can set the number of sectors in the radial clone. So let's set that to eight. And you'll see the brush is now very close to the red dot. The lower the number, of course, the further away it will be. So let's go back to eight. And let's see an area. Let's go over here to this wing. And let's click right here, control click that is. And now we can copy radially. Uh, let's see, let's actually go right there. Oh, sorry, this one's viewport based, I should mention. If we move it around, you'll see it stays exactly in the viewport. Not all of these are viewport based, it's actually mesh based. So keep that in mind. So you see we're getting that pattern radially now. Symmetrical copy. This one needs to have symmetry turned on. And as it just mentioned, it turned symmetry on for us. So if we paint on the left side of the ship, it will go on over to the right side of the ship. Or no, it's the exact opposite. Sorry. <laughs> it's kind of the opposite of what you think. So. I paint on the left hand side, it goes over to the right hand side, and so on. And the last one, copy using pen, I have had absolutely no luck using it. I don't think it's ever worked, so I can't really show it. I mean, I'm brushing now and nothing's happening. Control click, nothing happens. So that's it for that one. Let's go back to the top. You can manually specify the X and Y of the position for most of these. You can also specify the depth and color opacity. You can also set it to uh, paint or copy through all of the layers instead of the, the selected layer. But that's it for this tool. See you in the next video.